Hello, and welcome to today's video on a brief summary of, where we will be discussing what is a three-quarter sibling. A three-quarter sibling is another type of sibling. You have half-siblings, you have full siblings, and you have a couple of other types of siblings. But the one in this video we'll be discussing about is a three-quarter sibling. And three-quarter siblings share 37.5% DNA share. Now for those who have come to this video to understand the intricacies of DNA, we will be discussing that later on in the video. However, next I'm going to be showing you a chart so you can understand how you and your three-quarter sibling are related. We'll start this chart off with you, and we need to follow up two more generations. We go through your parents, and then we go up to your shared grandparents. These are the grandparents that you and your three-quarter sibling are related to. Now dropping down a generation, we get to your uncle or aunt. Now this uncle or aunt has to be a full sibling of your parent. Now, wouldn't your uncle or aunt's child be your first cousin? Yes, they are your first cousin. However, in this aspect, they are your three-quarter sibling. Now, what makes them a three-quarter sibling? A shared parent. So, for example, if your parent is a father and your uncle or aunt is your uncle, then your shared parent would be your mother. And vice versa, if your parent was your mother and your uncle or aunt was your aunt, your shared parent would be a father. DNA behind three-quarter siblings. Half-siblings share on average 25% of their DNA, and full first cousins share on average 12.5% of their DNA. 25% plus 12.5% 12 makes the average of 37.5% DNA. Three-quarter sibling facts. Three-quarter siblings only share one parent. The other parents must be full siblings. They can't be half-siblings, because if they are, you and your three-quarter sibling would actually be five-eighth siblings. Three-quarter siblings can match as half and full siblings on websites such as 23andMe and Ancestry, and this is due to how DNA doesn't split evenly. Double cousins and three-quarter siblings are not the same. Whereas double cousins are, for instance, two brothers marrying two sisters, in this case, it would be, for an example, two brothers having children with one female. And finally, if you'd like to understand your DNA results a little more, please head to the description of this video to read about centimorgans to understand your matches in more depth. And that is it for today's video, so I'd just like to say thank you for coming along and learning about three-quarter siblings with myself, and if you guys have any questions or queries, please let me know in the comments below, because I'd really like to know. The description is going to be full of things from percentages of DNA to centimorgans, for you to understand if you have taken a DNA test, but as for everyone else, I hope this clarifies anything if you are wondering how you and your potential sibling are related. I really hope that you have enjoyed watching today's video. If you'd like to show that you enjoyed this video, then I would appreciate it if you could go along and click the like button to this video, or furthermore to this, you could click the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload new content. The idea of this channel, a brief summary of, is that you can learn how you and potential relatives are related. The intricacy of DNA is fascinating, and I just want to share with the world on a more understanding level how you and someone else could be related. So thank you so much for watching today's video, and I really do hope you've enjoyed it, and I shall see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.